I'm Jay Kingley, co-founder and CEO of Maven, your host of Fractionals Unplugged. I'm joined today by John Arms, who runs Voyager University, educating all flavors of stuck professionals on how to enter the fractional economy and thrive in it. Voyager University started five years ago and already has over 1,055 members. John is based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Welcome, John. Thank you. Minneapolis, Minnesota, the frozen tundra of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Especially nowadays. Welcome to Fractionals Unplugged, an insider's perspective vodcast and podcast from Maven. We work with fractional executives to recreate their corporate income without the insane hours, building the business they want on their own terms. Jay Kingley, the co-founder and CEO of Maven, shares best practices along with tips and tricks on how you can build a robust pipeline to become fully booked with clients, start getting paid what you're worth, and eliminate your brute force marketing. Enjoy today's episode. All right, John, (laughs) let's say I've had a 25-year career in marketing with my last two years serving as the CMO of a $200 million logistics business. I left corporate three months ago and I want to set myself up as a fractional CMO. I get introduced to you, and I want to understand what Voyager University is all about. You've got a maximum of 60 seconds to give me your elevator pitch. Go! <laughs> the elevator <laughs> pitch. All right. So you're out. You're out. You're out. And, and now you want to weigh into fractional. All right. Well, we teach this. We teach this in courses and all this kind of stuff. So the answer uh, is it's a big one, right? You have to learn. The simplest thing is you have to learn your way into the into the fractional world because it's new. And so then what are the things that you have to learn? And of course, I'm going to suggest take our course, read our book. Um, but I think the first thing everybody must do uh, is to do a lot of self-exploration. What are you ready for? What are your goals? You know, what do you want to be? What do you want the next chapter to be? Go for a walk. Think about it. Embrace the awesomeness you have inside of you. And build your future on that. Fractional, it's a perfect place to do that. And yes, there's courses and communities like ours, but it is a journey of self-exploration and setting a good goal for yourself. That goal, if it's self-determination, then fractional is your path. Love it. Now, what motivated you to start Voyager University? Oh, I um, decided to become a fractional before fractional was a term. I sold an advertising agency I started and, and ran and I said, okay, from here, I just, I don't want to lead teams and build all this stuff like I did before. I was a CEO of that. And so I said, it's independence from here on out for me. That's what I love. Great. And I come from a family of entrepreneurs and independent minded thinkers. And I'm a Gen Xer like you. So of course, you know, we hate authority anyway. So uh, I said, oh, so what I want to do is I want to be a CMO for three different companies. That looked great to me. There's no model for that. What the hell is that, right? Like there was no model. So I got out my machete and hacked my way through that jungle and sued it. And along the way, um, found it was a very hard jungle. Lots of stuff to hack through. There wasn't a model for it. There wasn't a path. And so as I learned, I'm like, well, this is going to happen to a lot of people. This model makes a lot of sense. So I better start taking good notes so I can help others learn a path into, we called it then the gig economy. How I can help others, right? And I'm like, yeah, America loves self-determination. A lot of us don't want to work for somebody else. Um, we're very capable people. Let's sort of create this path. And so I, I created the trail, wrote it all down, came across my business partner, Jason, who's really the smart one in the duo here, created all sorts of education on what we learn. And we continue. We learn every day, like fractional changes every day. So we're doing new education all the time. But that's what motivated me was it's a path that really helps the American economy. So I wanted to forge it. So that's what motivated me then. And it's what motivates me now. It's very interesting to me. And by the way, thank you for putting me in the Gen X. I'm actually the tail end of the boomers. Oh, so, man. Well, you so know, but I like taking years off. That's sure. Do it, man. Stage. Do it. Right. <laughs> I remember in the 90s when the internet was becoming a thing in the business world and everything <laughs> was going digital. Uh, there was this very strong view encapsulated in, among other things, free agent nation mm-hmm. that you would see people leave the big enterprises in contract independently because the internet was going to dramatically lower the transaction costs of doing business. Mm -hmm. Now, here we are 35 years later, Mm -hmm. and it's now happening. 
with fractionals. But those who really had a lot of foresight would have said it was inevitable, but would have underestimated the amount of time. But we are here. It is not going to reverse. This is a trend that will continue, and you are in just at the right time. John, so take me through the benefits that I get as a fractional for Mm -hmm. becoming part of your community. So there's two things that really matter to for an on-ramp into fractional. And I said the first one earlier, you have to learn. There's just a lot to learn. We're, tra- we're educators. We've chosen to create a university for fractional as, as an industry. So our community is a community of educators. So yes, we teach. We have other teachers coming in now to teach aspects of fractional. Um, we have cohorts. So it's a learning community. And that's different. Fractional, And I don't begrudge any other fractional community. I think they're all wonderful, but ours is a learning community. So the benefit, of course, is you're going to learn. You're going to learn from the coursework. You're going to learn from the members. We've got all these wonderful feeds of information, like learning is learning. It's absorbing information. And so that's the key benefit of, and what makes us different. We're not going to place anybody. We don't do that. You know, we're not going to, that's just not our model and it's not what we're good at, but we are really good at teaching. And uh, so the benefits are, they all anchor to learning and advancing through gained knowledge and intelligence and living this fractional life. That's the primary benefit. And I think that your focus on education is a big differentiating factor. You're not just bringing people together to say, okay, here's some cool people, talk yeah. amongst yourselves, Right. nor are you a placement agency, Right. Um, but you're really fulfilling, I think, a gap in the marketplace given the huge influx into the fractional world. Mm-hmm. And while once you're engaged with a client, there are a lot of similarities, although some differences mm-hmm. with how it used to work in corporate, but the entire business aspect yeah. is totally different. Most of these folks have no experience and have had no training in how to do that. Yeah. There's so many dimensions to learn. Like we teach on, we when we teach our 101 boot camp, we teach on two aspects. One is the operations. Like how do you set it up, do it, go sales, biv debt, like all those things that you did not learn when you were in 30 years in a manufacturing company, right? It wasn't, it wasn't part of the dynamic there and that's okay. So you have to learn that stuff. That's usually where people's head starts. Usually it's like, how do I sell? And what's that look like? And is there a CRM and what are the tools? Got to have them. That's great. The second part, the part I teach, because I'm sort of the woo-woo in the mix, is there's these energies. There's there's a lot of mindset in this space. There's a tremendous amount of mindset. And it's really, really to understand it, grasp it, reach into it. For me, because being half of the education arm of Voyager U, I'm passionate about it. I love it because it's a lot of self-discovery. You know, Jay, a lot of people, they come out of corporate and they just know how awesome they are. They really don't. They're like, yeah, I've been in a lane for 25 years at, you know, Fortune 500 X. And, you know, I hit 50 and I got laid off because I think it's amazing, you know, all that. Right. And it's just diminish. Right. And society does that. Society says the older you are, less value. you have. It's not true. It's not real, but it is out there. Right. I'm not saying ageism isn't real. I'm saying when people perceive their value to be decreasing because of their older. So the inverse is actually true. The more you're on the earth, more wisdom you've gained. And guess what businesses need to advance? Wisdom. So the self-discovery part, the energies, we talk about community energy and giving energy and gratitude energy and these things for people to learn as the interfractional. So, and always new stuff. We learn new stuff. So we're like, oh, time for another course. I love it. Now, given that you engage with so many fractional executives, Mm -hmm. can you share your perspective on what you see are the biggest challenges facing fractionals today? Um, Sure, sure, is uh, imposter syndrome. I'll go right to the one that is like nobody wants to talk about, but it is the most r- real thing is people have a fear of themselves. I will be found out. I'm not good enough for that. I can't, I can't, I can't sell. I can't do this. I can't manage my own books. There's this whole list of structures people have in their head that are absolutely not true, but they're there. And it's imposter syndrome. Hey, listen, George Clooney has it. Oprah Winfrey has it. Franklin Delano Roosevelt had it. Like it's a natural human condition. So we have to overcome it, right? Because if you're here on this earth with the 400 million molecules that you have, 
and you're alive today, you're awesome. You're a gift to the planet and the economy. Forget about imposter syndrome. Get over it. We teach how to do it and really embrace the awesomeness that's inside of you. That's not an easy thing for people to do, particularly in a culture. I write about this in the book, Revolt, in a culture that has not been designed to celebrate that. The transactional nature of the um, status quo economy, which has been very much a shareholder economy, has not been about that at all. So uh, imposter syndrome, probably the top one. Number two is probably their fear of sales. Absolutely. I hear both of those yeah. on a regular yeah. basis. Yeah. Well, I want you to take a half step back and, sure. and tell me, what have you learned from doing Voyager University that you didn't know when you started it? I would say I have learned the immense hope and opportunity that has yet to unfold in the American economy. I did not know how much brilliance, motivation, aspiration, capability lied latent in the status quo workforce that is now becoming set free. So when you think about that, like you think about just about Voyager U, we've got somewhere north of a thousand members, right? All being independent professionals, all self-determined. Well, what does that mean for the economy? Well, they're all serving, nobody's serving a Fortune 500 business in the space, right? We're all serving those businesses that are trying to grow. And all of a sudden, all this wisdom is leaned into these wonderful businesses that can now tap into that and advance. Like, what does that do to our country? Nothing but amazing things. So that's one thing. Then the other part is those people, people like you and me, we have books in us. We have side hustles in us. We have taco trucks in us. We have cleaning business. We have all these things that we could and should and want to do. But being trapped in a nine to five, which is actually a six to six and then work later, has not allowed that to release. So I have learned that the potential we have in fractional is, it's incalculable. It is just, I think it's the biggest gift in, in innovation in, in our economy that we've ever seen. Very inspirational message, very <laughs> uplifting, and we need more of it, I we have do. to tell you. Yeah, yeah, we do. People have to realize that they're awesome. So speaking of being awesome, what advice would you give to fractional executives. People who are currently fractional is, it's kind of probably sound a little bit like a broken record, but um, to, to be in a constant state of learning and to be in a constant state of helping. So the learning part is almost self-explanatory. Whether you're learning about yourself or learning about your craft or learning about where things are going, it only serves to help you, right? So do it, right? I mean, being part of Fractionals United or Voyager U or taking our course or just learning on Fractional, reading books about it, it's always going to serve you, right? Uh, but then in a constant state of helping, that's context. So in the way in which you do Fractional well, it's not a very self-serving thing, right? You make a good living, you make good money, you you do the wonderful thing for yourself, but it's for others. You know, you're helping a small person. You're not just plugging into a business to play a role. You're helping a small business that's been struggling to kind of reach its potential. It's very fulfilling. And so um, uh, that's the advice I give people is like, all right, so think about what you do in a context of give. Uh, read Bob Berg and John Mann's book, The Go-Giver. Um, it, can, it can help you advance yourself and those you serve. So what would it cost me to become or to join the over 1,000 members of Voyager University? Sure. So there's two two things that you part with from your wallet. One is the monthly membership is 20 bucks a month. And that comes with like, that'll get you in, it gets you to the community and you can connect with people. And we have an infrastructure for that. Super, super helpful. Part one. Part two is our education is, you know, our fractional 101 boot camp. that's $799. Uh, the 102 and 103 that are coming, those are, I think, 399 So there's some higher price point items. But of course, value, the learning it's um, try to keep it super affordable. We know what it costs to get a coach. We know what it costs to, you know, if you're going to go through a placement company, for example, you're going to be giving, giving up tens of thousands of dollars of money. So we're trying to put our stuff at a price point that people can afford in advance where the price point doesn't hinder their, their progress. Those are the two dollar amounts you part with in Voyager. We'll come up, oh, our book is 10 bucks. You know, we try to keep things as low as we can. And still keep the lights on. Well, I don't think anyone could argue the affordability 
of yeah. what it is that you're doing. Not to mention the ROI, come on, is yeah. off the charts. It's off the charts. And, and the ROI for people who do this, off the charts. The ROI for the people they serve, off the charts. For the community, like I just wrote a blog. blog. I read one once a month and I was talking about like, this what a community says, let's open our doors to fractionals. That fills the coffee shops. It fills the hardware stores. It, it fills the restaurants. Like we're a force in the economy and a good force. So the ROI is, it gets to the cultural level. It gets to the GDP level. Absolutely love it, John. We're going to take a quick break. Okay. When we come back, we're going to learn a bit more about you. As a fractional executive, you work with us to help you recreate your corporate income without working the insane hours. Our fractional flywheel service focuses on how to price, package, and position your years of experience and expertise, create and refine your go-to-market strategy so it's effective and efficient, and then nail your execution. Working with us, you will build a robust pipeline to become fully booked, start getting paid what you're worth, and eliminate your brute force marketing. Maven's unique fractional catalyst service for those serving startups and early stage companies gets you acting like a venture capitalist in managing your business and as an entrepreneur when working with your clients. Achieve financial security and reward with clients who want you to take charge, ask for forgiveness, not permission, in an environment without all the politics and bureaucracy you find in corporate. Email j.kingley at referabilitymaven.com to learn more. Welcome back. We're talking to John Arms, who runs Voyager University educating all flavors of stock professionals on how to enter the fractional economy and thrive in it. John, I want to find out a bit more about you. And let's start with, what is your biggest professional accomplishment? Oh, boy. Uh, I'm going to go recent here. I think my business professional accomplishment, and it's not my accomplishment, it's one I was part of, was FRAC 2023. Was taking everything that fractional can and needs to be for America and people who need it and giving it a center of gravity, a place, a home, a conference. I'm still buzzing from it, and it was a month ago. And so being part of that, because there was Rob Smith and Liz Otteson and Carol Frazier, and like there were so many people that made that happen. I was just a one player of many, but that was an amazing accomplishment. It still is. It's blowing my mind to this day. For those who aren't familiar with FRAC 23, Give us the, the short version of what it was about. So you know how South by Southwest is a thing for people who love music and that kind of culture? FRAC 2023 and now FRAC 2024 and beyond is it's our fractional culture center of gravity. You know, there's it's we, we decided we're like there has to be a place where we can gather as a community, as a people, as an entity that is as as economically impactful as it is culturally and socially impactful. And we, and we were talking about that at Voyager U and I was talking to students about it and other people I know in the fractional world, like we need it. We need our own South by Southwest. We need a thing. And so we made it, we made it happen. It happened here in the twin cities. It's going to happen in a year. And now other markets are like, Hey, we need to do a frack over here. Auckland wants to have a frack. Really want to get there in February. That'd be nice. Cause that's a good time of year to be in Auckland. I hear Thank you for sharing that. So mm -hmm. it's easy sometimes and fun to talk about your accomplishments, mm -hmm. but it's much more instructive Yeah. when I ask you to share what's been your biggest professional failure, but I really want you to focus on the learning. So yeah. what did you get out of it? How did it shape what you do today? So, so many to choose from. I, <laughs> I make a, a habit of failing because, uh, I think that's just life. And uh, so my biggest professional failure, that is a good question. Um, I'm going to try to pin that down a little bit. I think my biggest professional failure <laughs> was staying in the corporate world for too long. If I think, I mean, of, of, of all the failures, believe me, I have a line list a mile long. But I stuck around in corporate. I did the status quo thing. And I was a servant to the corporate world. I had an agency. So was, if you think it's bad being in corporate America, be a servant of corporate America. It sucks. And uh, so I stuck around in that world for a long time. And I did it because I had a responsibility to my employees. I wanted them to have a good life and a prosperous life. And I did it because 
it's kind of just, it was the path and the pattern and the status quo. But uh, I think my failure was I stuck in there for too long. I just did. And, and, and the learning, of course, was the longer I stayed, the more wisdom I acquired on how corporate status quo structures, not all, but can often diminish people's excellence and outstanding ability. And that's not good or right. It's just not. Whether that's toxicity, whether it's office politics, whether it's ageism or sexism or genderism, you name it, right? It's there. It's out there. It's not like these are dynamics like, oh, John's saying bad things. Like we, these are studied elements. And so I gained a lot of wisdom about those things and decided, nah, there's a better way. There's a better way to celebrate everybody's individual awesomeness and bring it forward than what we've created as a status quo. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. So, John, what's next for you and Voyager University over the coming 12 months? I was just writing this in my journal. I've got uh, FRAC 2024. So we've got a plan for that. I do think we're probably going to have two or three other FRACs around the globe inside of 2024. There's things happening. So that's a lot. That's a big lift and, and a very motivating thing. So that's going to take a lot of time and energy. And got a few podcasts that we're creating at Voyager to help advance the dialogue of Fractional. So there's that. As Jason, my business partner, is like, well, you finished the last book. Time to write another one. So I'm thinking about what I'm going to write about with Fractional there. Uh, so that's like a lot right there, right? A, a major conference, another book, and continuing to serve the Fractional community uh, and advocate for it from the stages I can get on. That'll be what's next. I think 2024 is going to be a very good year, not just for you, but for all the people that you and your team touch. So yes, I, I know we're going to have a lot of interest in what you're doing. What is the best way for our audience to reach out and contact you? You can find me on LinkedIn. I'm, I'm always there, uh, whether that's good or bad, because I post almost daily. Uh, actually, you can find me on TikTok. I just, you know, there's only so many social channels you can be in, and we've started a TikTok place. Um, and of course, you can look at Voyager U online and find all sorts of resources there. So those are three places where people can find me. And we will put John's contact info mm -hmm. in the show notes for both the video and the podcast. John, I want to thank you. Thank you. For being a guest on our Fractional Zumplug show. I love Be it. Be sure to subscribe to both our podcast on all the major platforms and in our YouTube channel for our videos. Until next time, make an impact on your clients and family on your terms, securing your independence with the freedom, flexibility, and control that you've earned.